Hello everyone, welcome to Mesa Study. So today we are going to discuss a very little brief introduction or I can say just discussing little key points about the reaction that is the elimination reaction. So elimination reactions are of various types alpha, beta, gamma, E1, E2 and so on. But here what I would like to focus upon is the beta elimination reactions, right? So beta elimination reaction and which occurs as per the Seitzeff rule. Seitzeff rule also known as Zeitzeff rule, right? You must have encountered this term or Seitzeff Sev, Zev, okay, so whatever it is. So these kind of terms you might have encountered while you know googling and everything. <coughs> so uh, we are going to focus upon the beta elimination reaction today and some key points, some keywords and some catches about it, right? So first of all, what is beta elimination? Beta elimination reaction is also known as E2 reaction right e2 elimination wherein what happens is first thing we take up a very strong base or nucleophile right very strong base nucleophile why the base has to be so strong that it is able to abstract the hydrogen what kind of an hydrogen acidic hydrogen abstraction and this hydrogen is very weak weakly acidic weakly acidic these are the three okay three points now the fourth point here it occurs via SN2 mechanism that means in just one transition state the fate of the reaction the fate of the product is decided so that is what beta elimination is fine and obviously the shapes of rule plays a very important role in the formation we are just going to discuss that okay let's now move on i hope everybody has got uh, these some of the key points about it now what do you have to and how do you have to perform this reaction let's discuss here is a very very simple example that I have taken in this case is of alkyl halides. So basically beta elimination occurs mostly in the case of alkyl halides and what beta is? Here the halide is attached to the carbon and this carbon is considered to be the alpha carbon and the adjacent to that is considered to be the beta carbon and the hydrogens associated with it are the beta hydrogens. So these are the beta hydrogens and why not this hydrogen is getting abstracted basically it all depends upon the symmetry so the nucleophile which is very very strong in this case that is the OH negative right this is going to attack from the back side because of the SN2 mechanism and not just because of the SN2 mechanism but because of its symmetry that is how the symmetry will be maintained in a much more manner why because here while attacking from the back side it attains a staggered configuration right instead of attacking from the front side where it will attain the eclipse conformation so here attacking from the back side and that too from the top and here this is going to be the leaving group right so both are you know opposite to each other anti parallel to each other attack from this side and leaving group from this side so basically that is how in a staggered manner the configuration the conformation will occur you know during the transition state so that is the transition state where this hydrogen gets abstracted so let me just put you know this hydrogen over here that would be more appropriate to show and that is how the you know abstraction of the hydrogen occurs and since the hydrogen get abstracted this carbon you know there is a transition state so this carbon will be having a less of electron density right now this chlorine being the good leaving group will go off and generating a double bond right here right clear and that is how the reaction has occurred and that is how we get the product but one e i hope everybody is clear about this particular reaction always remember sn2 is favored fine okay now this was a very simple example coming on to 
application of sets if rule what is this rule what does it say and it's obviously very easy kind of you know uh, markovnikovs and anti markovnikovs but you know how does it occur let's discuss so in the sets if rule it's just a rule given by a scientist who said that there is a possibility of the formation of highly substituted product more as compared to the less substituted product that is what he said how let's see now here what do you see is a very strong base definitely the elimination will occur so this strong base will abstract the acidic hydrogen that to weakly acidic hydrogen obviously what are the possibilities see here this hydrogen can be abstracted right because since i'm dealing with the beta hydrogens i have got two possibilities of beta this and this now the point is which one will be the more favorable product let's see here as per the sets of rule the sets of rule says the highly substituted product no need to go into the detail why does it said so and basically it's it all depends upon the stability of the entire compound which is formed see here more hyperconjugated structures will be possible in this case as compared to in this particular case so that is what the driving factor the driving force is so see here he said more substituted product being the more stable it will get formed much more quantity so see this hydrogen will be abstracted very very quickly by this oh negative as compared to this hydrogen although it will be abstracted but in a little less quantity in a little less favorable manner right so this hydrogen got abstracted the double bond this left being a leaving group good leaving group because of the bigger size because it can handle a lot of charge it can accommodate a lot of charge so being a leaving group it left sn2 mechanism again followed here also sn2 was followed and due to the stability issues the double bond came here in more quantity see so but2 in is the more favorable product as i told you again i am telling you due to the more hyperconjugative structures due to the more stability of this alkene it is preferred to be in major quantity as compared to but1 in where the abstraction would have taken place from the other side clear or not so i hope everybody is clear with this fact and that is what all about the beta elimination and the sets of rule was i hope everybody has got it if you have got some other examples also related to this topic and you are not getting it somehow so you can always reach out to me have a nice day